Hey everyone, I am so excited. I am interviewing Dr. Jithin Namala. He is an amazing doctor. He's super fun, really sweet, and from my experience, he's pretty intuitive. Hi, how are you? Hello, I'm cool. <laughs> so, I'd love for you to share a little bit about yourself. Yes. Uh, myself, I'm Dr. Jithin Namala. Uh, an Ayurvedic practitioner graduated from Sri Dharmasthala Manjana Dechira College of Ayurveda, Khasan, Karnataka, South India. Working now as the senior physician and administrator at Udegiri Rejuvenation Retreat Center, that's a branch of Ayurveda Yoga Villa. Myself, I'm coming from uh, a traditional family of Ayurvedic practitioners. <clears throat> and I'm native of uh, this place itself. It's Vainad, uh, one of the districts in Kerala. Kerala is known as home of Ayurveda. Uh, my grandfather is my first uh, guru in Ayurveda. Uh, we have a very uh, old tradition of the lineage of Ayurvedic practice. Uh, all my uh, ancestors from back to my back from my grandfathers my, uh, they were Ayurvedic practitioner after my grandfather uh, no one in the family was practicing Ayurveda so I am the one after my grandfather practicing Ayurveda uh, he's a must, he's my first uh, teacher in uh, um, Ayurveda later uh, I, from his motivation I was also graduated from the medical university, Ayurvedic University in India and I'm, I'm, I'm working in Kudayagiri which is a branch of Ayurveda Yoga Villa uh, since about five years. Wow, so obviously Ayurveda is in his blood, like, oh, that's amazing. So we're gonna actually dive deep in and I wanna know what are the ailments and diseases that you are treating here at Ayurveda Yoga Villa Group? Yeah. <clears throat> Ayurveda itself uh, is not just a uh, system of medicine. Apart from that, it's a uh, lifestyle and uh, numerous uh, conditions are very commonly treated uh, in Ayurveda. In Kerala or in India, uh, where people first choose Ayurveda as their system of medicine so from common flu to the great extent that even all types of cancers even people approach Ayurvedic doctors for the treatment very commonly Ayurveda is very famous very effective in neurological conditions gynecological conditions musculoskeletal system related conditions autoimmune diseases hormonal imbalances or endocrine disorders such as hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism and Ayurveda is very effective also managing the psychiatric ailments um, starting from the mild psychological problems to the extent of the schizophrenia um, Ayurveda can treat the condition uh, very extensively skin diseases are managed very well in Ayurveda uh, uh, like even psoriasis so the very many conditions where modern uh, systems of medicines believe that lifelong medications are required such conditions are treated successfully in Ayurveda uh, with a limited duration of the treatment uh, <clears throat> So these are the common conditions very commonly treated in Ayurveda. Uh, we in uh, Udayakiri Rejuvenation Retreat Center and under the Ayurveda Yoga Villa group, we also treat little bit different conditions also because our, most of our patients are also from the West. So we treat also a little bit uh, different conditions apart from the common diseases treated in Ayurveda. All the common diseases treated in Ayurveda we do also treat like um, st starting from the smaller elements to the uh, greater extent, uh, serious conditions also. Uh, commonly we do treat here all types of skin diseases, um, all types of musculoskeletal system related conditions including various arthritic conditions. Um, we do treat here gynecological uh, problems, okay, infertility 
and lots of psychiatric uh, illnesses we do treat here we are also uh, uh, doing search and uh, treatment on uh, cancers many cancerous conditions lymphomas breast ca and various conditions have seen uh, 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 with very good result with our treatment uh, here okay <clears throat> also uh, the uh, rare conditions autoimmune diseases like chronic uh, autoimmune conditions plus um, well, uh, rare conditions like uh, chronic fatigue syndrome or fibromyalgia or uh, uh, Lyme's disease or uh, such conditions which not very successfully treated in the modern sciences is also treated very well here okay and neurological spectrum of conditions all those conditions are treated very successfully uh, uh, in Ayurveda yoga oh, wow I'm just like blown away by all the things that you can treat with Ayurveda and coming to the center that's amazing and I'm almost like ah throw the Western medicine out the door <laughs> even though we need it for some things that's a lot that's really impressive so what do you feel is different and unique about this center yes uh, Ayurveda Yoga Villa is or uh, I, uh, the, the hospitals or the retreat centers under the Ayurveda Yoga Villa group is unique. Uh, Ayurveda Yoga Villa uh, is uh, a holistic Ayurvedic retreat center. Okay. It is working since 2004 in the uh, <clears throat> district of Vinod in South India, uh, in Kerala. Kerala is also known as home of Ayurveda like I have mentioned earlier. So we have uh, three centers across India. Uh, Ayurveda Yoga Villa is the mother center, uh, which is on the shore of a river, Kabni, and Udayagiri Rejuvenation Retreat Center and Hospital, which is on the mountain, Brahmagiri Mountain. And we have one more center, which is near Goa on the beach, Ayurveda Yoga Village. All of these three centers are holistic Ayurvedic retreat centers. So there are, uh, there are many, many, many numerous Ayurvedic hospitals and retreat centers across India. What makes us unique is that uh, Ayurveda is not just a system of medicine. Ayurveda is a lifestyle. The word meaning itself is that Ayurveda is science of life. So Ayurveda is a philosophy of life, a way of life. What is so unique with our practice is that apart from as a system of medicine, we are practicing Ayurveda in our centers as a lifestyle. Our daily programs are even designed based on the Ayurvedic principles and concepts. And various Indian philosophical sciences and various Indian health practices are also practiced together with the Ayurveda because they go hand in hand. They are not separate. They are one itself. Uh, uh, yoga, Kalari, which, uh, which is the uh, uh, traditional martial arts, uh, uh, the Indian rituals like Agni Hotram, which are also practiced on a daily basis in our centers. Plus, our concept of health is soil to soil, starting from the soil to the soil. What we do here is a body, mind and soul retreat, which is otherwise we call it as Sarira Prana Mana Suddhi, purification of the body, mind and soul. That happens only by with the practice of a holistic uh, science. So what we do here is also to tune a person's system uh, with the biological clock inside in harmony with the nature. So then along with that we so introduce the materialistic medicines to them and the whole concept makes them more receptive of the medicine and we believe that that's a real help. So, to make the Ayurvedic practice really unique, authentic and uh, expecting to get the best result, to make the best result out of Ayurveda, we have the practice from soil to soil. So 
we uh, um, uh, grow organic food in our own organic farm we have uh, indigenous breeds of cows in uh, in our centers we have around 140 number of in indigenous breeds of cows uh, are uh, distributed in our different centers so we use the uh, products uh, from the cows for the therapeutic purpose and for also the farming purpose the food um, the food waste will be fed to the cows usually and we have uh, uh, our own ayurvedic medicine production uh, so we make the medicines required for our patients in our centers itself and uh, we have our own organic kitchen and we serve the healthy ayurvedic meals and we make sure that the right med food is served to the people to make sure that we grow our own food so that from the cultivation until it's delivered on the table uh, we, we can monitor the quality so we make sure about the quality of the food eaten by the patient along with the medicine to assure the real healing and it is all served with love care and prayer to richen the food with a positive energy so that uh, it contributes to the uh, healing so from this all concept adopting so uh, the, the indigenous practices also like uh, the traditional indigenous tribes food habits uh, in our locality this has been adopted to the diet habits so we are adopting the indigenous traditional practice to our um, centers and we make sure that the person uh, the patient who is under the treatment here is also eating the uh, right food are doing the right lifestyle and we make sure about the healing by uh, giving a care to the all aspects of an individual okay. that's what is unique with uh, um, Ayurveda Yoga Villa uh, yes, uh, group and its, its centers we take care of the nature and the people from soil to soul and we do the uh, body, mind and soul mm -hmm. retreat, the Sarira, Prana, Mana, Suthi. Mm. Yeah, that makes the center very unique. Yes. And something you actually touched on, you started to talk about Ayurveda apart from other medicines. Yeah. Can you actually elaborate a little bit more, like yeah. what else in Ayurveda besides the medicine? Yeah. yeah. I'd love to hear. Uh, actually, I would love to uh, talk about that on, on that topic uh, because that's most exciting about our science, mm -hmm. uh, Ayurveda. Uh, that's the most uh, fascinating uh, factor behind uh, this uh, science that makes us practitioners very passionate about it. We are so happy to do that because of its 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 uh, uh, uniqueness. Mm -hmm. Ayurveda uh, with its practices now generally uh, in India people uh, consider it as a system of medicine some people do accept it as a system of medicine sometimes people consider it as a uh, wellness practice okay uh, uh, but in fact actually Ayurveda uh, is everything Ayurveda is a wellness practice, Ayurveda is a system of medicine, it's a lifestyle. Basically, Ayurveda, the word meaning itself is science of life. Or otherwise, the Ayurveda is defined as Hida Hidam Sukham Dukkam Ayus Tasya Hida Hidam Manam Cha Tatsya Trokam Ayurveda Savchide. That means Ayurveda is the knowledge about what is Hida and Haida, desirable and non-desirable, Sukha and Dukkha, uh, su, uh, Dukkha, what gives pleasure, comfort and uh, health and what gives the opposite of it, mm -hmm. all the miseries. So it's not just limiting to the physical aspect, uh, it's all about the person. Mm -hmm. So from that definition itself, it is very clear that it's an ocean of knowledge. Okay, mm -hmm. it's 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 about all aspects of life. So, <clears throat> uh, 
യുണീക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ആയുർവേദിക് മെഡിസിൻ ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് ലൈക്ക് ഈഫ് ഇഫ് വി ടേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ആസ് എ സിസ്റ്റം ഓഫ് മെഡിസിൻ ഓൾസോ ദ യുണീക്ക്നെസ് അബൌട്ട് ഈസ് ഇറ്റ് ഗീവ്സ് മോർ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ടു ദ പ്രിവെൻഷൻ ആസ്പെക്ട്സ് സോ ആയുർവേദ ഫസ്റ്റ് റെക്കമെൻഡ് എ ഹെൽത്തി ലൈഫ് സ്റ്റൈൽ ആയുർവേദ ടോക്സ് എ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ബട്ട് ഹൗ ടു ലീവ് ഓക്കെ that's actually a, a, that's completely prevention based if you follow that you will be blessed with a uh, good lifestyle and ayurveda probably uh, will be one of the only system of medicine with a scientific diet concept which goes along with ayurveda okay so the uniqueness beauty of it is that it is an ever existing science because um the difference between mainly uh, ayurvedic philosophy of medicine and uh, modern philosophy of medicine is that modern sciences are a linear philosophy so uh, it's based on inventions and scientific studies so um, what is in what is in practice today can be outdated tomorrow so it's meaningless than what we do now ayurveda is very fundamental there is a fundamental a concept about uh, the this this universe and every living and non living organism of this universe and including human okay so whatever we find new it should be explained based on the fundamental principles and can be applied on the body or as a medicine so uh, that's the that's the reason why the science still exists after 5000 years and it's for sure it will exist uh, for next thousands of years because uh, the, the the fundamental principles are so strong and that fundamental principles itself it's not very fundamental that it is not going to change it is according to the time place uh, person and various these this this fundamental principles itself is in a interesting way subjective to change okay through evolution okay for example quantitative assessments are very less or quantitative measurements are less which are qualitative so that means it's a philosophy it's a cyclical philosophy so uh, nothing can be outdated and ever updated every day it's getting updated but any update is never going to get outdated so that's the beauty of existence of this science it is otherwise the beauty of it or uniqueness of it apart from the system of medicine it's a system for eco bio balance it is not a system existing only for human beings it is a system for all the living and non living organism in this universe to for a harmonious existence so ayurvedic philosophy believes to exist is to coexist so ayurveda itself as a system of medicine is available vrksha ayurveda but that's exclusively for, for for diseases of the plant gaja ayurveda for horse uh, sorry um, uh, elephants and ashwa ayurveda for horse so it was a system existing in olden days during the kingdom rule the king had royal physician for himself and a physician particularly for his elephants and for some uh, physicians for his horse because kings were riding horses at that time so it was a system for everyone so and it is also a practice in india that in agriculture practices people actually uh, look at the moon and the lunar calendar and they do the farming accordingly okay that's effect of uh, different objects of this universe on each organisms okay for example um, that was the beauty of the practice for example i said earlier that my grandfather is actually a very practice he is also a, uh, a very very good farmer Mm-hmm. so that's a difference so um all these two go hand in hand without mm-hmm. being into the nature it is not possible to practice ayurveda because both go hand in hand mm-hmm. because we all are the member of the same family so basic philosophy of ayurveda is itself is in that exchange mm-hmm. okay so that so Uh, without being a good observer of the nature without being a good farmer you cannot really um, practice ayurveda because that comes from the nature mm-hmm. so 
so basically what is so unique about ayurveda and what makes us fascinated about practicing it is that it's not a job it mm-hmm. is not that uh, when we wear the white coat or uh, use a stethoscope we become the doctors it is nothing uh, apart from the soul it's a part of the soul when you become a real practitioner you are accepting it as Uh, accepting it in the soul and uh, you are living a life you are not doing a job that's a beauty in the aspect as a practitioner for myself and uh, my approach or understanding about uniqueness of ayurveda mm. thank you i could listen all day long okay i have one more question you actually did touch on it already But how would you say Ayurveda is different from other medicines? I know mm-hmm. you started to go in it, but can you elaborate a little bit more about that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. See, I think uh, um, I have half explained it, like uh, how Ayurveda is different from other system of medicine. Uh, Ayurveda is really different from other system of medicine because, uh, like I have explained, um, <clears throat> it is the first difference is that uh, it is not just a system of medicine mm-hmm. okay uh, which is uh, actually a guideline that's the beautiful word i can use it is a guideline or a protocol for us because i'm answering to this question uh, based on a a uh, human approach like uh, uh, system of medicine means it is something about the human health okay so ayurveda uh, is not just a system of medicine no, no other system of medicine never gives a protocol or a guideline for a healthy life that's one factor apart from that ayurveda is such a wonderful uh, s- uh, system of medicine that uh, it is incorporated with the, the non materialistic aspects like uh, ayurveda says medicine itself is divided into three that is yukti uh, vipassana chikitsa sattva vipassana chikitsa deiva vipassana chikitsa these are the three aspects of the uh, medicine the yukti vipassana chikitsa is the so called medicinal part uh, part uh, similar to the other system of medicine or um, uh, the modern approach of medicine that means yukti vipassana chikitsa is the practice of the medicine with the materialistic medicine that we see in the bottles that we see in the form of tablet that we see in the form of the powder or that we collect from the nature in the form of roots flowers leaves stem bark or inorganic materials like uh, metals minerals and such objects yukti is the uh, base of that with the logic of the physician or the practitioner we are choosing the medicines and is given to the patient so that's one part of the treatment next comes the sattva vijay chikitsa that is the non materialistic aspects where the itself you the, the important factor is that it, this is one part of the treatment itself so the treatment without the medicines that includes lifestyle and diet modifications plus uh, that includes uh, includes the good advices or possible adaptations like yoga it's a part of sattva chikitsa or a lifestyle modification like if you are suffering from a certain condition if the physician is advising not to eat particular diet that's a life a, a diet modification so that's a, a, a that it, that is considered as a treatment itself but without using a materialistic object then plus apart from that there is the eva vipassana chikitsa word meaning itself the eva is the god so that means these are the rituals and spiritual practices so it is definitely explained in ayurveda in numerous conditions as a cause for the diseases as karma so that means the actions that we do or ayurveda also believes in the existence of uh, uh, rebirths so ayurveda believes that we may carry over to the next birth sometimes okay so but that's different let's 
not talk about that now but apart from that ayurveda says um karmas um, our actions may influence us okay or uh, Uh, ayurveda is a science that believes in the existence of the god so ayurveda believes that the god inside us when enlightened he is uh, improving the healing capacity self healing capacity so that comes the dev vipassana so that includes various spiritual practices there uh, there is no barrier of religion there there is no barrier of uh, uh, culture there because a very human being there exists a god it is finding the god in oneself with the various practices so that's what we believe about the we, we hear about the stories from different corners of the world that someone uh, healed themselves by the prayer or something like that it's all because of the deva vipassana aspect of an individual so i think that uh, all these concept a, a whole concept considering the human as a whole being uh, and uh, considering human as the microcosm of the macrocosm so that means the entire universe uh, this this concept makes ayurveda so different from uh, other system of medicine I'm so happy. <laughs> this is so cool. I really want to thank you. And one thing, I don't know if you've said this, but did you mention that you were 30 years old? Yes. Okay, I didn't hear that. And yeah. why I wanted to highlight that again is that you're 30 and you're really living your dharma, your life purpose. And we all can really have our dream job and it seems like you have your dream job. Yes. So I really want to just Thank you for following and trusting your your heart and your truth, okay. and being an example to everybody in the world that they can really do what they want and make a difference in the world. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, Loka Samasta Sudhno Vandu. Wishing good health to everyone in this world. Thank awesome. You. Thank you. Namaste.